Hey guys, welcome back. Right now we have a thunderstorm, which hopefully doesn't result in like a lightning strike lighting my base on fire and burning it all to the ground. I don't think that's very likely. I forgot, this is above sea level. Luckily we have a bed now. Hey guys. Oh my lord! Would you look at that? Is this really happening? Oh my god, it happened! It really works! I have a water source. I put the slab on this dirt block so that a tree wouldn't grow leaves over the cauldron. Why don't we go check out the mob farm? As you can see, I have one chicken pal. I realized that the mob farm here generates chicken jockeys and uh... Yeah, so I managed to grab one of the chickens. That's nice. All I need is one more now in order to start breeding them, obviously, and then we'll be able to get a lot of eggs. And before I show off the new mob farm, I just want everyone to appreciate how nice my levels are. Alright, let's get into it. As you can see, the mob drops are mostly rotten flesh. Arrows, bones, and gunpowder from the creepers. Pretty decent drops. Rotten flesh doesn't have a lot of uses, but the skeleton drops are great to have. I think the gunpowder... Here we go. Get in the boat, sir. Hooray! Now we can breed chickens. We're doing a lot of progress in this episode. <gasps> the grass is spreading. So beautiful. Okay, and this is the spider farm. It's one high in here. Only spiders and bats will spawn. So yeah, now that I've obtained uh, string for my bed, and I've obtained chickens I can breed to get eggs, I'm going to use this platform next to generate passive mobs such as sheep, pigs, and cows. So that's what I'll be up to. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in part four.